Alright, that last video came out pretty good. So, I got one more video I want to do for you guys and gals. And I got to do this pretty quick because I'm losing the daylight. And I don't really have the best lighting in my shooting area. That being said, without further ado, let's jump into this video. So we're back with the third video on the day for you guys and gals. And what I have here for everyone is my unboxing, installation, and first impressions of the Subcase Unicorn Beetle for your iPhone 6 Plus or your iPhone 6S Plus. Mm. Alright? So without further ado, let's get into this video, this unboxing. Alright. Starting off, let's talk about the packaging. Now, y'all already know, I'm sure everybody's heard of Subcase and the Unicorn Beetle series. This is actually one of my favorite lineups of cases. I've pretty much covered this case on almost all of the devices that I've reviewed, give or take about one or two. But let's do this anyway. So talking about the overall packaging, I really like the overall presentation. You got some company branding up here. You got the... Uh, the series logo right here. So this is from Subcases, and this is the Unicorn Beetle Pro series. And right there, you can see this is mil spec standard for drop protection. So 810G drop protection compliant. And if we flip it over to the back here, you can see what all it provides. So it has perfect gripping with the textures used in materials. It has 360 degree rotation, so I do believe it comes with a belt clip. Now it has multi-layer support for shock resistance. All right, now I have already unboxed this, got rid of all the tapes and plastics, and I boxed it back up just so you guys and gals could see the unboxing experience. So that pretty much does it for the packaging. Nothing else on the packaging but some barcode information. So that being said, let's dive into this box. All right. Now, inside the box, this is what we get. Get this nice little pouch with the little barcode on it. Now, if you scan this barcode, this will take you to an instructional installation video on YouTube. And, it's, and if it's your first time getting this style of case, I do recommend that you watch that video or you watch this one because I'm going to walk you through how to install this on your device. All right. Then, aside from that, we do have our instruction booklet here. So once again, just letting you know how to separate the case. Pan this through the video so y'all get to see. Feel free to pause and read this. Alright, put that down. Then, here we have the case itself. And another set of instructions. So let me show y'all that real quick. So, two sets of instructions here. You know, subcase was not playing. They want to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Because they don't want you to damage your device or damage the case. Alright, so again, feel free to pause and read. All right, throw that off to the side. Get this bad boy out of here. Get these out of here. Don't need this anymore. Throw that off to the side. All right, so let's get into this. Little styrofoam protector for the case. Let's throw that out of here. And here is the case inside of its belt clip. And now this belt clip can be used as a stand with your phone inside of the case. I'm not really a big fan of belt clips, so I pretty much just toss these. So I'm just gonna toss that. Now, when you first get this, it will have some protective plastic on the front here, as well as having some protective plastic on the inside, but I've already removed all that. Okay, now let's get into the installation process for your device. Now, the first thing I would recommend is that you give your device a full wipe down, front and back, because similar to the other case that I unboxed, once you put this bad boy on, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it off. So this, bad, this case is made to go on and stay on for pretty much an indefinite amount of time. Okay? So you definitely want to wipe down your device thoroughly before attempting this installation. Once you did that, put your device off to the side here. 
And then you just want to dig a fingernail in, get a nice groove, right? And be careful because you don't want to damage the hard plastic. Then you want to just work your way around, being sure to pop out all the corners, okay? Just like so. Working your way around. Be careful not to break the hard plastics. Keep going till it pops off. Just like so. And we in there. Then what you want to do is remove the protective foam. And at this point you would take off the protective plastic right here. Throw this off to the side. Don't need that. Now with your device fully wiped down. What you want to do is just line it up and drop it in. Right, so I got a piece of hair right there. We don't want that in there. Uh, bam. So line up your device and drop it in. It should click into place. Like so. All right. Then what you want to do is take the back shell and line it up and drop it on all right now me myself i like to start from the sides or the bottom so you can do it with whichever way you feel best or comfortable with so i just line up the sides here making sure it goes in all right like so push it down apply a little bit of pressure just like so then you want to make sure you just fold over all the hard parts, like so. Alright, again, apply a little bit of pressure. Ever so gently, work your way around. Fold this over, apply a little bit of pressure, work your way around. Make sure everything lines up. Then you should be left with something like this. Now don't worry, it's okay if you have that. Now all you need to do is just squeeze up the seams and create a nice tight seal. So once again, you work your way through, squeezing up the seams, making a nice tight seal, like so. Now if you're, if you're afraid of getting accidental presses on your device, you can also power off your device before you do this. But work it around, make sure those seams are nice and tight. Okay. That may be Alright, Siri, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Alright. And once you got your seams all lined up here, you're gonna see what your end result should look like. So go through it real nice like that. And then once done correctly, this should be your end result. So now we have successfully installed the Unicorn Beetle series on either your iPhone 6 Plus or your iPhone 6S Plus. And y'all can see our ports are fully protected and we got all protective flaps for our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, our lightning charging port here. Now, y'all gonna have to forgive me, I have no fingernails, so all that. And we still got precision cutouts for our speaker grill, all right? We have full protective buttons. Now our power button is fully protected. Let's check tactility. So still fully clicky and easily accessible. I don't know how well the mic picked that up. Let me get this close to the mic. Okay, good stuff. Same thing for the volume rockers. So fully protected. Still fully clicky. Now, our mute slash alert slider is underneath this flap, so it's fully protected. Now, that is the one downside that I can see. When you want to use that, you're going to have to fold this flap back and use that. So, that's one thing you're going to have to be mindful of. Alright. But, that's pretty much it. We got nice raised lips for our camera and our LED flash. So no need to worry if you drop your device face down. And we have a nice protective screen protector. So no need to worry if you drop your device on the display. It should be okay. And we have a nice divot.
for our front facing camera and our receiver and front facing sensors so no need to worry about getting those scratched or getting those damaged and we still have a nice neat cutout for our fingerprint sensor so good stuff let's check and see if it works okay so yep everything works exactly like how it's supposed to now let's check touch sensitivity yep super smooth no problem working in here good stuff all right really good stuff so touch sensitivity is all there and now our device has maximum protection okay so that pretty much goes over the installation process now to uninstall the case you do the same thing but in reverse okay but being as this is the last case I'm gonna unbox I'm just gonna leave this one on I guess we'll go into reviewing this one first and then do the other one directly after this okay now getting into the first impressions I have to say I really like this case okay I like the overall rugged feel of it it feels very durable and it adds some much needed grip now I'm holding on to this and I feel as though I don't need to worry because I got a nice solid grip on it alright so first impressions of this case is really really good okay so that pretty much does it for this unboxing installation guide and first impressions of the unicorn beetle series pro for the iPhone 6s plus or the iPhone 6 plus okay if you guys and gals enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way shape form or fashion please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up that really does help me out you don't know how much if you want to see more content like this also feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos alright that being said if this video piqued your interest and you guys and gals would like to know where you can pick up this case at some really great prices all the links to where y'all can pick up this case at some really great prices will be available down below in the video description so as always if your interest is piqued down below in the video description should be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals and you should be good to go alright that being said my full review for this case should be out in about two weeks from the posting of this video okay and directly after that review is out we're gonna go directly into reviewing the other case so I know I said in the other video we were gonna do that one first but I do believe we're gonna start off with this one and then go into that one just so y'all get an idea of how the process is going to go I usually like to do my my videos in two week increments and I usually like to drop them sometime during the weekend so either Saturday or Sunday that's when my videos will drop now I'm really bad at keeping the schedule and I'm really anxious and impatient so I have a tough time sticking to that but I'm gonna do my best to stick to that so y'all can get a general idea of how the schedule is gonna be moving forward alright this whole video here this evening because the sun has went down now was recorded using the rear facing 12 megapixel camera on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active in 720p resolution at 30 frames per second. All of the audio for this video was recorded using the Movo, the Movo MA2010 omnidirectional microphone. So please let me know what you think of the overall video and audio quality down below in the comments and all of the stabilization for this video was provided using the smooth Q smartphone gimbal so let me know what y'all think of the overall video down below in the comments your feedback as always is greatly appreciated alright that being said I would like to know I'm gonna pose this question do you guys and gals use fully protective cases on your devices or are you more the type to use a case and a tempered glass screen protector me myself um, being as I'm so clumsy, this is actually my preferred style of case to use on any of my devices if I can get my hands on something like this. Okay? 
So that's just, how, in my opinion, how I feel about these cases. But let me know your preference down below in the comments. Let's have a nice, respectful conversation down there. That being said, I hope everyone has a great evening, and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. Peace, everyone.